Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be explaining how 1000 attack can be the difference between you winning and you losing. This 1000 is normally only on grade 3's, the difference between you winning and you losing. Basically, this grade 3 is much better than all of these guys because most decks can easily get their vanguard and rear guards up to 20,000. That means that to guard this guy you would need 10,000 to just stop the rear guards or 20,000 to completely nerf the opposing vanguard if they're attacking for 20,000 which in hindsight they will be. Some decks will be attacking for 21 but let's ignore that for the moment because their rear guards won't normally be able to do that. Whereas, if they attacked any one of these as the vanguard, and they were attacking for 20, you would have to put up a 15 shield instead. Now that is the difference between a win and a loss. Simply because every single turn you're losing an extra card from your hand, say you've got six, no, say you've got eight cards in your hand, each turn you could just guard for 10 if you had an 11k, so, say you have six cards, three of them being 10,000 guards, and the other being 5,000. You can guard all three of their first attacks um, if the opposing vanguard doesn't hit a trigger with just three cards. Whereas if it's any of these guys, you would waste your whole hand guarding it. Now that is actually, if you think about it, quite a lot. Because then the following turn, you trigger check for this guy. You get two more, well, you get two five guards, say. You can then guard two more attacks just because you didn't waste those two cards. You could only guard one if you'd got one of these guys. And then the following turn, it gets worse and it gets worse if you only have a 10,000 um, vanguard. Now, that being said, these guys do all attack for more than this guy, but this guy's maximum attack on his own is um, 13,000. That, um, combined with, uh, where is he? This guy is a total of 23,000. Now, no vanguard will sit there on anything above 11 normally when it's sitting there not being able well when it's sitting there taking your attacks so this is no different if they're using an 11 vanguard to attacking with this same combination when this is limit broke think about that one again now I'm not saying that these guys these two on the sides are bad they're both equally very good, just not in the vanguard circle. They are better as rear guards because you can put them behind these guys and they're attacking for 20,000. Look, 20,000 right there, easy. You don't have to boost it with any triggers, you've just got 20,000. 15 guard for your opponent if they only have 10,000. How, how can you, if, yeah, it's, it's simple maths. That, yeah, that's just all of this time which I've just shown, I've just spent, is just to explain that this guy right here is better than these just because of 1,000 power. Now, just, if you try and implement this into your games, you'll end up not winning your games by luck as much, by going crit crit, oh I win, stand stand, although you shouldn't be running stands most, in most decks, because most decks the stands don't give enough bonuses. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching this video, I will, be ho I will hopefully be putting up another video shortly, um, please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. If you have any way of trying 
uh, any queries on anything which I say in the videos which I put up, please don't forget to ask. Ask away. I, I'm completely happy to um, talk about them. I'm always on YouTube at the same time as doing other stuff. Well, not always. When I'm in town, I'm not. But when I'm at home, I'm always sitting on YouTube. So please don't worry. To, don't even think. Uh, don't even query asking me. Just go ahead. Anyway, thank you for watching.